hello guys welcome back i'm so glad that you are here all right in our previous video we talked about the arithmetic operators and we were able to uh, go through the different types of arithmetic operators that we have in javascript okay so today we'll be moving on to number two which is the assignment operators all right um in case you just saw this video and you have not watched our previous video please you can check back on this channel we already have the arithmetic operators uploaded you can go through it then before you proceed to the assignment operators all right okay so um what are or what is assignment operators okay assignment operators are the symbols that are used to assign a value to a variable all right so the assignment operators helps us to assign a value to a variable so for instance if i want to assign a value x to the variable uh, i want to assign a value um 10 to a variable x so x we hold the value of 10 so whenever I call up X, X is going to give me the value that is stored in it. All right. That is what we mean by assignment operators. And then the assignment operators is represented with the, with the equal symbol, with the equal symbol. I want to mention here that the equal symbol is not the same thing as in JavaScript. I know in mathematics, the, the equal symbol means equal to, but in in javascript or in most programming languages the equal symbol is not equal it does not mean equality in programming languages or most programming languages it means assignment symbol all right so it's better you call it assignment symbol than calling it equal symbol all right so it is re being represented by this now how do you assign a value to a variable in javascript now um in javascript we have three ways of declaring a variable all right i think we also have that we also have that in our previous video that we have done still on this series so you can still check back on syntax yeah i think we, we did it on syntax so you can see that we did we have done it on syntax um variables here yeah, you see how to uh, to declare um variables in javascript using three keywords using the let keyword the var keyword and then the const keyword all right so in declaring a variable in javascript these three keywords are used whenever you use this any of these three keywords javascript automatically knows that you are trying to declare a variable all right i think that's uh, that's really simple so we are going to declare a variable using the var keyword we say var uh, x now x followed by the assignment operator so we say x we want to assign x to the value of 10. Now, this 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 thing we have on the screen or the statement we have on the screen is not x var x equal to 10. No, that would be wrong. If you say var x equal to 10, that is very wrong. It is read uh, var x is assigned to the value of 10 all right x assigned to the value of 10 you can say that repeatedly x is assigned to the value of 10 x is assigned to the value of 10 x is assigned to the value of 10 so do not say var x is equal to 10 all right uh though sometimes we we'll make mistakes you know like me sometimes i normally say x is equal to 10 all right but the the correct way is x is assigned to the value of 10 okay so let's proceed now what we have on the screen tells JavaScript that, okay, whenever we call up X, X means 10, all right? X holds the value of 10. X stores, now we are storing the value 10 inside X variable. Now the X is a variable. Why the 10 is a value, all right? X is a variable, the 10 is a value. So whenever we call X, X stores the value of 10. So it's gonna give us whatever they stored in it whenever we call upon or uh, we call x all right so we're going to console log x and see what it gives us so we're going to say console the log we console log x and then we go over to our browser refresh it all right um okay so we have 10 all right okay but we can add um some uh, some words here we can say some strings we can say the value of x is right can do something like this is is x okay so it's gonna it's gonna tell us what this is okay and then um, for this 
plus sign that we are using here please check back on um our arithmetic operators you will understand why we have to add plus here okay we have treated that in the in that in that uh, topic okay so we have that the value of x is 10 okay so this is how to assign a variable we can use the let keyword is going to give us the same thing when we refresh yeah it's going to give us the same thing and if we use the const keyword we say const and then head back to our browser and then refresh this you see it still give us 10. now i want to mention that there are differences between the uh var let and the const okay so um still go back to the variables and then um, you will learn syntax and variables that's the topic we treated you know the different uh usage of this of um this uh, declaration keywords all right we have treated it uh, please get back to the video you you know we get a more overview and in-depth understanding of where and when to use the var the const and the the let keyword okay so this is basically how we we assign a variable you right to a value i mean it's pretty more simple i mean that that is that's really all about assignment operation all right but then we want to also see other use cases you know uh, it's not as if that what we numbered what the number one to seven is uh, different types of uh, assignment operations no um, or, um operators no uh, they are not but the other ones are the use cases you know there are cases where you have to uh, use um you have to use x and add it to something else or subtract it from something else or divide it by something else or multiply by something else you know so we're trying to look at other use cases so we're going to look at the addition use case the subtraction use case the multiplication use case the division use case the remainder use case which is also the modulus use case and then the finally the exponential use case okay now before we go into that i want to mention that we have what we call the reassignment okay i know we have treated this in we have we all well, we have all of this treated in the syntax and the variables you can refer back to the video you know you will get more in-depth understanding now we have what we call reassignment of variable now reassignment is where you have declared a variable and then you are coming to change you want to change the value that is stored in it all right so now we have that x is equal to 10 all right x is equal to 10 now we can decide to reassign the value of x so we can come over here and say that x is equal to 20. Now, what we have here is what we call reassignment. We have assigned x to the value of 10. And we are coming to say that x is equal to 20. What we are, that simply means the value of x is going to be updated. Now, we'll come right here and then console log, uh, console log, console log x. All right. Now, the value of x is being updated. Now let's head over to our browser and then refresh you see we have the value of 20. now we are going to copy this console log let's get it copy it from here and then we're going to place it before the reassignment all right so here we're gonna you leave a text that said uh the value the value of of x before reassign uh, assignment uh, for reassignment is you know then we're gonna put X here and we're gonna do the same right here we're gonna say that the value of X after it's gonna be after reassignment is so uh, we're gonna concatenate this and have x here so we're gonna check what's the value of x before assignment and the value of x uh after assignment after reassignment okay so we have here that the value of x before assignment is 10 then the value of x after reassignment is 20. so um what this means is before the reassignment the value of x remains 10. so if i'm using x anywhere here before the reassignment the value of s is going to be 10 but when i reassign it then the value changes okay i, I think that makes pretty much sense now we can declare a variable before using it that's what we call uh when you declare a variable and initialize now 
I can decide to declare a variable like this. Now, this variable does not have any a, any value. This is going to give us undefined, all right? Because we have not defined um, we have not defined the value of x. So x is just x there. We have not initialized the value. That's I think that's the right term for initialization. We have not initialized x to to anything. But in this case, we have this is where we initialize it to be. Uh, um, to be equivalent to 20 so let's head over to our browser and then refresh so you see here the value of x before reassignment is undefined because it does not hold any value because it does not hold any value there's no data type you know it's not defined anywhere it does not have anything we just define but it, it, we just declare it but it was not initialized okay so um there is that on the assignment so we can have assign and then you reassign you can still reassign here you can still say x is equal to 40 i mean that is accepted okay um but let's try to use the let keyword i mean yeah we use the let keyword that's the work but if when we try to use the const keyword const then uh we can say const x x is equal to 40 all right so yeah i mean uh, but this, this this is going to have issues all right yeah i guess because when you declare uh well yeah when you declare the, the when you declare variable with const on top error assignment to constant variable so you can check back on um sync tanks and variables to know why this is running this error i think we have all treated we treated it there yeah we treated it okay so that is um that on the number one so we're going to head over to number two which is the addition assignment okay so um, addition assignment is um, this happens when you have assigned a value to a variable and then you want to add something else you want to add another number or I want to add a value to the value you have already okay I want to add a value I want to add a value to the va to the variable you have already so remember here we have X to be X is assigned to the value of 40 so um, what I want to do here is that I want to add another value to 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 x. I want to add 40 to x. Okay? I want to add 40 to x. So uh, you can say this that x plus 40. But then if we do x plus 40, I mean this is what we are trying to achieve. We want to um, add 10 to the value of x. Whatever that might be the value of x we just want to add 10 to it okay now when we add 10 to it we will now assign this value the new value to x we, we still want x to you know to have the same value so what we'll simply do here is we we'll now say that x is equal to whatever x is plus 10 okay so what happens here is what you are looking at here is a variable we are trying to reassign this variable that we already have here which is x we are doing reassignment here and what we are doing is we want us okay um get the value of um x uh sorry i have to change i have to change this uh, const keyword let's just use the the var keyword so i want to change the x um sorry i want to reassign x to a new value now what is the new value the new value is whatever that is the value of x add 10 to it that is what this means that's what we mean by addition assignment okay so addition assignment is where you know you add a value to the variable and then assign the outcome or the result to x okay to the variable that you already have so what we have what we have here is what we call the addition assignment it's just a use case you know it's not like it's a type of um a type of operator or whatever no it's just a use case you know the case is where you can use this so here if we console log let's go and console log um console.log x of course you should already know what should be should be the answer so you have a variable x equal to x plus 10 of x holds the value of 40 plus 10 that should give us 50 so let's head over to our browser and then refresh this and see what we have okay so right here we have our 50 okay so um what i want to show you is how you can write this in a shorthand okay um if you don't want to write it like this how you can write it in a 
a shorthand so the shorthand way is that you're going to remove this x here all right and then you're going to take this plus sign over to to the left hand side and then just add it like this so um this this um, expression and uh you saying that x is equal to x plus um 10 they are the same thing okay so we have this already i've commented this out let's head over to our browser we should still have 50 i'm going to refresh my browser you can see we still have 50 here so what this is saying is okay i already had the variable now x you can see when i hover over this you see var x you know var x is a number that's a the data type you can see the number there data type so what i'm saying is x is equal to x plus 10 all right so whatever i have as the value of x i want to add when i add and i want to i want to equate it to the uh, i want to equate it to the sum of this i'm trying to sum the value the value of this variable x plus whatever i have at the right hand side okay so this is just how you do your addition assignment it's a use case you mean instead of you you know trying to write this this is a little bit longer even though it, it's one line but this one is more is more shorter okay so this is probably how you write the shorthand okay all right so um let's head over to the subtraction i mean the subtraction uh, also looks similar like what we have here i mean um you can pause the video and you know try to do others i mean they follow the same they follow the same pattern i mean they follow the same pattern so what we're going to do here is um just change the operator so here uh we just say that x we can do something like we're gonna say x okay for this case we're gonna use something like y so we say y is equal to 20 all right and then here we will say y is equal to y minus or probably minus 10. i mean that's what we're trying to you know subtract okay and even if we don't want to use even if we don't want to use um um even if we don't we don't want to use y here uh, sorry 10 here we can use the value of x whatever x is okay so we can say we can use x because still use x here because x holds a value okay so we can do something like this and then say console the log y you know tell us what's the value of y oh i'll go over here refresh my browser we have minus 30. now the reason is because in this case x is greater than y y is 20 and then x is 50 because of what we did here remember we reassigned the value of x here so we have x here to be 40 then we added 10 to it as 50. so here we're saying uh, 20 minus 50 that's going to give us minus 30 and that's why in our browser we have the minus 30 okay i think that makes more sense so um i guess you should already know the shorthand here so the shorthand here is y you know minus we are assigning it to the value of x I mean, this is the shorthand so what we're going to do i'm going to comment this out for now so that it doesn't um, interfere with what we're doing so i'm going to console log this console the log y i mean that should still give us minus 30. yeah okay you can see we still have this um minus 30 i mean that makes more sense now there's something that i want to say this semicolon that i have right here is not mandatory this semicolon like when i write an a semicolon at the end is not is not mandatory okay so javascript does not use this semicolon there are other programming languages that the semicolon means the end of line but in javascript the semicolon does not mean the end of line so whether or not it's not going to generate any error i mean it's best just for human human readability okay you can you can skip them and just your code will still run okay i mean but uh, for me I'm, I'm i'm already used to it okay i'm already used to it because um there are other programming languages that like la, like php this means end of line so when i'm writing in php i usually i usually add this like it's a mandatory for in php if you don't do that in php it's going to generate error for you so i'm kind of used to it and um that's why i'm adding it so i mean you can still make more research on that it's not it's not mandatory okay so um that is that on the subtraction assignment i mean you can pause this video and do the rest i mean it's really simple and practice like i i, I always advise always make sure you practice keep practice whatever you learn at a time practice it until it gets into you into your fingers until you can write it without thinking about it okay until you can write it without you know trying to research just keep practicing that's the best way to become good to master in in in, in uh, master any programming language is by practicing i mean anybody can tell you that 
that practicing is is what we do I mean, you have to learn it learning it like i'm doing it now it might seem very simple for you but if you don't practice it, you will start forgetting them okay so i advise i strictly advise that you practice 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 and keep practicing practice again practice again practice in the morning afternoon and night keep practicing and before you know it it will all get into you all right you still write you start writing it even without thinking about it all right all right guys so let's head on to the next one so the next one we have is the multiplication and for the multiplication we are going to Declare another variable. So I'm going to say um, of uh, num one, uh, num one is um, equal to uh, fifty. All right, and then uh, I'm going to say that uh, num one, num one. Remember how we normally do is is equal to num one. All right, multiply by four. Okay. So what we are simply saying is get the value of num one which is 50 and then we want to multiply it by 4 okay so we will console log this we're going to see over to console.log so we say give us the value of num1 so I'll head over to my browser and then refresh this so we have 200 because 50 times 4 is going to give us 200 all right so if we want to change remember the shorthand if we want to change the shorthand so the shorthand is going to be num1 all right uh, multiply multiply then we put the assignment operator and then the value that we want to multiply with so if i want to refactor this line um, i sim i will simply add the multiplication here before the assignment operator and i will get read of both the val variable and the and the multiplication operator and we say that this shorthand is equivalent to you know saying that num saying that num1 multiply by 4 and then when we console log that um, so already we have 200 before 200 before the before the refactoring uh, refactoring so if I refresh you see we still have you know 200 over here okay so that makes pretty more sense I guess all right guys so um, we head over to the next one which is the division assignment so like I said they are all the same but I'm trying just to try to do it um, so here we can still use the value we're gonna use the value number one here we're not gonna define any variable anymore so we can see here that num1 but then um we have to remove this all right have to remove this and then um yeah okay so what we're going to say now we will say that num1 is equal to num1 remember this one divided by four okay now i want to mention here that we here we have increased increase the value of num1 all right you can see right here we have increased the value of number one from from 50 to 200 now we are multiplying number one by four by four that will give us 200 and here we are trying to divide number one which is 200 again by four which is which should give us uh, 50 back so we have console log um, number one all right we head over to our browser and then refresh it so we have here to be 50 okay and um um, I guess you should already know how to refactor this okay so this one um, this one I'm not going to refactor this one for you you'll be the one to refactor it okay so it's a little assignment that I'm going to give you you will refactor this one so the next one we're going to do is a remainder all right so in our previous video in arithmetic operators I showed you guys how to use the modulus operator and then we, we said that modulus returns the remainder of the division okay so you can check back on that video and get more in-depth knowledge you know on that uh, very topic so uh, in our modulus operation we're going to have let's say var, uh, var 50 oh sorry we say var uh, num2 this time around we're going to use num2 we say var num2 is equal to uh, we're going to call it 100 we're going to sorry I just <laughs> just said equal to uh, pardon me yeah, I mean, I mentioned this sometimes. I use that, but I mean, it's not correct. The correct way to say that um, we are assigning the value of hundred to to the variable num two. Okay, so num two is assigned to the value of hundred, and then here what we're going to say is that num two we are trying to reassign num two the value of num two. So we are assigning it to uh, the value of num two, your yeah, num two, and then we are doing the modulus division, and we're dividing it by five okay oh if you have followed that video 
if you have watched our video on arithmetic operators you will understand i mean you should be able to tell me what the answer would be okay i like to i like you to think like javascript things i mean that's the best way whenever you're writing your code you should be able to think the same way javascript will execute your code should be the same way you should be thinking and that will help you help you to know what the outcome of any uh, any code would be or any statement in javascript will give you so looking at this what do you think would be the answer i mean if you have not watched that video pause this video go back watch that video on arithmetic operators and then come back just think for a moment what do you think would be the answer of this if we divide if we divide 100 the value of 400 by modulus modulus division divided by five what will it give you all right okay so for those that watched it um i think that should give us remember it returns the remainder assignment remainder so if we divide 100 by five the answer is going to be 20 it's going to be 20 it's going to be 20 remainder zero so we're going to console num2 so console.log num2 all right we'll get over here to num2 head over to our browser and see what the result will give us so you see the result gives us zero because um because um 100 is divisible by five so let's say we want to divide it by six by modulus operation we're not divided by six and then we head over to a browser and see what that will give us it gives us four so that means if um six divide 100 uh, it's going to give us a value and then remain four all right so we are getting four so um i guess you should also know how to refactor this one yeah i'm not going to refactor it for you it's going to be um a little assignment i mean if you have any problem with your refactoring please don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below and i will respond to all your uh, questions and then attend to all your comments all right okay so um we are going to the last one which is exponentiation all right and so an exponentiation we in arithmetic operation we we say it's when you raise a number to a power of something i mean to a power of a value that's exponentiation or that's exponential okay so here we're going to declare a new variable we're going to say we're going to declare a variable called uh, my norm all right we're going to call it my norm and we assign it to the, to the value of you know three okay and then here we want to uh, we want to say that my my norm you know, my norm is assigned reassigned to a value of my norm and then we are going to call the exponential uh, operator which is the double asterisk and then raise it to the power of three okay and then we console log this console.log and then console.log my norm all right so i guess if you know what this will give us that should be three multiply um three multiplied by three by three you know three into three places all right this is three into three places three into three places i mean that should give us three times three is nine times three that should give us about 20 uh, 21 or 27 let's check okay yeah that gives us 27 all right so i mean you should know how to refactor this to a shorthand so i'll give you a little assignment that's going to be for number five division assignment then the remainder assignment and then exponential uh, exponential assignment so you have to refactor this to the shorthand okay all right guys so um i want to thank you for uh, watching to this moment please remember if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel like this video share it so that other people you know can see it all right so remember in our next video we're going to be talking about the comparison operators stay tuned all right and god bless you make sure you check back on this channel we're going to be uploading like we said in the introduction all right guys thank you for watching and god bless you do have a nice day bye bye